Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12.1 Beta 2 to developers. Now it might be out for public beta testers by the time you're watching this. If it's not, it usually takes a day or two. This came in at 332.6 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see the build is 16B5068i, and this particular build does not bring a ton of new things, but one of the things it does do is fix the charging issue that was brought about by iOS 12. So if you have an iPhone XS or XS Max and you plug it into the wall, uh, before it wouldn't charge properly, now it will. So in some cases this was happening. To me, I was able to reproduce it about one every 10 times. So if the screen is off, you let it fall asleep, you could reproduce it. Now, some people said you had to turn off the USB accessory option. That's not the case. This was a software bug all along and that would fix it, but it's not supposed to behave that way. So it fixes that issue for anyone that had it. So you should be good there. Now, the next thing is new emoji to keep up with Unicode 11. Apple has added over 70 new emoji and I've got them all right here, or at least most of them. You'll see chili face lobster. I'm not going to go over every single one, but you'll see these are all the new ones. You've got a llama, you've got different animals, different food, a Frisbee or disc mango, hot face, superhero, super villain. And then in the hair, you've got red hair, curly hair, bald and white hair. And of course you can change all of the different skin tones there. And then a puzzle piece and a receipt and a Petri dish and DNA and all of these new ones. And so those will be added when iOS 12.1 comes out to the public for everyone, but they're in 12.1 beta two. Now, as far as the speed is concerned, speed is really good on this. And of course, I'm going to talk about battery later on. Battery is about four or five hours on my 10s max with iOS 12 and the betas are about the same, but battery takes a couple days to know for sure. So I'll be doing a follow up with that, but you'll see the speed there with scrolling is pretty smooth. If we go through here, if I turn the screen off, turn it on, swipe for camera. It's not terribly fast, but it's good for an iPhone 5s. So this is holding up pretty well as far as that goes. Now, as far as the iPad is concerned, there's nothing new that I could find in it. Everything still feels nice and smooth when you're going into different apps, I'm not really having any issues, but it, it isn't really anything new as far as features are concerned. There is one new feature that came with the previous beta that I wasn't aware of. And that's if you go into your phone on the 10 S and 10 S max, go to portrait mode. And what you'll get now is a little F stop in the upper right. And this allows you to see what your depth of field will be before you take the photo. Of course you can adjust this later on, but you can go from F 1.4 all the way to F 16. So you can adjust this ahead of time, see what it looks like and change it later on as well. Now this update brings eSIM support, but that's not available yet from your carrier. So your carrier has to support that such as T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T in the United States. And probably by the time iOS 12.1 comes out, we'll see it. But if we go into settings and then we go to cellular, that's where it should be. You can add a cellular plan by scanning a QR code, or you can enter the details manually. There's no specific spot to actually add it here. And we will see it later on though, as far as our carrier support goes. So again, if we go back in, there's just not really anything for eSIM, but we'll be able to check that out later on and try it out. And when it is out, I'll show you how it works. Now, Apple watch also received an update, but the ECG meter is not available yet. So we're still waiting for that. And then of course I did a geek bench on this device. So let's go ahead and check that out. And you'll see here we have a single core score of 4,806, 11,504 on multi-core. Now, if we take a look at the history, you'll see it's very close between the two, the two versions. Uh, this is actually iOS 12. So 4,815, 11,409, we're a little bit better on the multi-core, nothing really crazy. And I wouldn't expect that to change much. iOS 12 is pretty fast and utilizing most of the processor anyway. Now, for those of you that want to know how the games still work, I did test them out. I'm not going to play a ton of it here, but I did test them out as far as Minecraft goes. You'll see it's already open. It's reloaded there, but you'll see this works fine. This is on an iPhone seven plus no crashing so far or anything like that. And then also if I go into Fortnite, and I won't play this at all right now, but I just wanted to show you it loads. It does not crash or anything for me anyway on this device. So you'll be able to play this, have no issues with it. 
and that's pretty much it. So that's it for iOS 12.1 beta one. I'll be sure to do a follow up as far as battery and if it's having any other issues. Uh, so far, the smoothing issue that's on the 10s and 10s Max that's not fixed in portrait mode either. I tried that out. Uh, there is no fix for that. I don't know if they will address that later on with a software update. See my video if you want to see exactly what I'm talking about and you're not familiar, I'll link it above. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this version. I'll link the wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.